And if you're a filmmaker on a budget or a student or anything like that, this $30 light definitely needs to be in your kit. Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. We're gonna do a quick video today on the Ulanzi Mini LED Video Light. I picked this up to throw in my filmmaking kit for a couple projects, but really it was just too good of a deal and you never know when you need a little light like this. And for the price, I picked it up and I wanted to tell you guys about it because I'm pretty impressed. So this is just a small, you know, mini LED little light that again, you can use for filmmaking or pretty much whatever you want. So we'll run through some of the features here. So first, it's got two places to attach the light to whatever you're trying to do. So it's got a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. You could grab like any tripod, but if you wanted to use like a mini tripod, one of these, you could throw it on there. You could even start using it for like zoom calls or whatever you want just by using a setup like that. So it's got the quarter 20 thread on the bottom, but then also just a cold shoe mount as well. And then you can screw it down and mount it that way. So if you wanted to, you could throw it on, you know, one of these. This is also by Ulanzi. This is one of these little video rigs. This is kind of what I was envisioning using this for is maybe some of these scenarios, kind of a run and gun little setup. This Ulanzi rig is made for a smartphone. Not really talking about this kind of stuff today, but I'll throw a link for this kind of setup. If you're looking for like a budget filmmaking run and gun setup, this is a really good way to go. And again, this is built around like a smartphone. So it's got this attachment on the back here. I use even a iPhone 12 Pro Max in here. It fits just fine. So what's nice is that it's got kind of these handles on the side. You can run around, do pretty much whatever you want. This has quarter 20 threads all over the place, bunch of cold shoe mounts. You could put like, I've got this little Boya shotgun microphone again for like unintrusive kind of filmmaking kind of stuff. This whole setup right here would get you about 70 bucks or so. So I'll throw links for all of this stuff down in the description. If you're looking for like budget filmmaking stuff, if that's why you stumbled on this video and you're looking for this light, this whole setup is pretty cool. So we're not really talking about all of that stuff, but this is stuff that I use, the Boya microphone here, this Ulanzi rig as well. So that's the other way that this attaches is with the cold shoe on the bottom. Now, obviously there's tons of accessories that you could use. You could put this straight on your camera if it's got a hot shoe and then, you know, top handles, pretty much anything like that. So pretty versatile there with mounting options. Then here it's got three cold shoes, one on each side and then one on top. And then on the back, it's not terribly complicated. You've got USB-C for charging, couple buttons to interact with it, and then your on off switch as well. So. This does do color as well. So the first setting is just your standard white light and you can change the color temperature just by using the buttons on the back. And it goes from 2500 to 9000 Kelvin as far as your color temperature. And then with just a couple taps of a button, you can go into your color mode and you can cycle through to pretty much any color you want. You can dial it in. And then it's got, no matter which mode you're in, white or color, it's got a brightness setting as well. So you can turn it down if it's a little too bright for you. And that's it. That's all it does. It doesn't strobe, it doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. This is strictly just to provide a light, either white or color on your set. So really simple light, that's really all it does. And it is really bright as well. You wouldn't think it just by this tiny little gizmo here, but they're all LEDs. So it pumps out some decent light as well. So if you're doing like, again, like running gun documentary, journalism, anything like that, and you're trying to stay small and light and maneuverable, this is great. It's, you know, even if you're out at night, again, it's not gonna light up a super wide area. I think you know that just by looking at it, but as far as being up close and, you know, trying to light some things up, I think this works great and that's really why I got it just because you never know when you want just a little option like this if you don't want to break out like your Falcon eyes or something like that I've got a Falcon eyes f7 in my kit too but maybe I don't want to bring that whole big setup you know something like this might work too one other cool feature is that it's got a magnet built into the back so if you're on set if you're somewhere you know static and there's metal nearby you can just stick it right there and have it be a key light or a fill light or really whatever you want to do 
It's got a built-in 2000 milliamp hour battery that's rated for about two hours. The couple times that I've used it, I didn't run out of juice. And I think I was using it, the, again, only a couple times. It's kind of a specialized little thing. It was over an hour and I was totally fine on battery. Now, obviously that matters depending on like how much you're futzing with it and brightness and all that kind of stuff. But I think about two hours is about right. So I think that's good for just this tiny little light. So that's really all there is to it. There's really nothing to go on and on about. It's a cool light. Ulanzi makes a lot of kind of budget stuff. They're on Amazon and all over the place. I've got a few of their products and they always seem pretty good quality, especially value for money. So regular price on this is typically around 30 bucks. You can see them go maybe around 20 if you catch like Prime Day or maybe a random sale or something like that. But even at 30 bucks, I don't think it's all that bad just to throw it in your kit because you never know when you need a tiny light like this. So again, I do recommend this one. This wasn't provided for a review. This, is, this was strictly a personal purchase to throw in my filmmaking kit. But if you're a budget filmmaker or a student or anything like that, I really think this cheap little $30 light deserves a place in your kit because again, you just never know when you're gonna need it. My question for you guys is, what video projects are you working on? Where do you think something like this would come in handy? Again, what comes to mind for me is like running gun filmmaking. You're in the dark, maybe out in the woods, running around, who knows, whatever. Or again, like even maybe some sort of video journalism or something where it's a nighttime setting, who knows, and you wanna stay light and nimble. Something like this might help kind of brighten your scene. Those are the two things that come to mind for me. But what do you think? Where could something like this really shine? <laughs> no pun intended. Let everybody know down in the comments. If you guys have any other comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. Again, links for all the products that you saw here are gonna be in the description as well. And last, before we go guys, if you enjoy straightforward to the point content like this where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.